do a live tutorial. And if you miss this one, you can always catch it later. I'm going to say this, but I'm going to do a shoulder roll progression tutorial on how to do that. Hi there. I'm just uh, getting started. I'm going to do a, a tutorial on how to do a proper shoulder roll. So it's going to be a progression and if you don't have a mat, I suggest using a mat, something soft if you're not used to rolling to roll on. Um, I have a mat in the grass, but I'm used to rolling on anything. So for me, I'm, I'm going to be all right. So let's get started with what we're doing. Uh, from here, I always say to start at the lowest point for your shoulder roll, you put one knee down and then it's important when you plant your ball of your foot on your back leg. That's going to be your momentum, your driving force forward. From here, start with making a diamond with your hands. Instead of dropping forward, straight front, bring it up forward to the side. Now, what that does, if you notice, it brings my shoulder perfectly center right where I want it to be. And then from here, I'm going to tuck in my chin to my chest. And then another tip that you want is you want to round your back. So in order to do that, I tell people to stare at your belly button. So while I'm here, my hands are off to the side. My chin's tucked into my chest. I'm going to push with this foot. Push, and I roll. It's as simple as that. So, a couple of things with this. Your back knee, you want it to be as straight as possible. If I turn my knee this way, then I'm going to roll different direction. So, wherever my knee's pointing, is kind of my focus on my roll. Now, also, as you get better, as you feel more confident about it, the next progression from having your knee down and rolling straight over is starting from a standing position then from here bringing your knee down bring your hands and then you roll okay after you get better at that the next progression is no knees down you get kind of low so you feel safe and secure about it but really trust in that hands this is really really crucial you got to keep your arms strong just kind of your shield to protect you from your head so as you roll you're protecting yourself, okay? And then after that, you can do dive rolls. So from here I can do a dive roll. There's all kinds of fun progressions. You wanna pick up a, a knife or something, lay down a knife, and then you can roll, and then pick up that knife, hopefully safe and secure. So there's tons of fun aspects and possibilities with the, the shoulder roll so be safe with it take your time with it have some patience so a lot of things people do when they're first doing it is they they're scared to go over they kind of rotate and do kind of a side roll so really trust in that back foot to push you out of that roll okay so does anyone have any questions while i'm here <laughs> yeah that's an easy and safe first progression Absolutely. So yes. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or whatever, please leave it after I end this uh, live feed because I'm going to save this after, and then you can ask whatever questions you want. Let me know if there's any other tutorials that you'd like to see me do in the future as well. And please check out my YouTube page also. It's where I'm going to be sending a lot of these type of videos as well. I'm going to go into more depth on tutorials in the future on my YouTube page as well. And you can check that out at stuntpeat at youtube.com or you can check me out here. But in the meantime, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial.